Now the country and nation will rise for the national anthem. We stand here together, united with pride. Beneath our flag waving gallantly on high. Across the land our people did ride, noble steeds of steel. Against the tide, long boats and galleons, they bring our people home. The old gods, they called us to the sacred stones. No mass together, no longer we roam. We reap the fruits of the seeds we sow. For from tiny acorns, the mighty oak grows. We're busting out of the box, we're breaking the mold. We're no longer trusting the fairy tales we're sold. No longer buying the poisons we're sold. The men and women of Wayward are going back to the old. Hey, hello, everybody out there in the world of YouTube. How are we doing today? I hope you are doing okay. Welcome back to another video about the Kingdom of Wayward. I am King Raul Halvar of the Micronation that is Wayward. And today I'm going to focus my attention on this comment that I have received on a previous video. Micronations are stupid. Now that's a bold statement to make, isn't it? From somebody that has come onto a YouTube channel that is about micronations to watch a video that is about micronations to just leave a comment about micronations and referring to them as stupid i myself would see that as stupid um in itself just just because you've come over and left a comment but it does arise a topic that does come up from time to time when people do express their negative opinion towards micronationalism by just referring to it as stupid, rather than make a big deal of it, rather than debate it, rather than fight it. I'm not going to. For whatever reason they feel micronationalism or micronations are stupid, that's entirely up to them and is their right to, to have that opinion. However, I wanted to focus today on other things that are stupid. Now, our brain box here, GTA, they have, um, they have obviously referred to micronationalism as stupid. Now, I, I, would, I would argue that paying for water when it falls free from the sky, that is stupid. Paying for electricity when you can generate it yourself using renewable resources and being self-sufficient. Paying for electricity to power your home, that is stupid. Queuing up in a supermarket with a shopping trolley full of fruit and vegetables that you are going to pay for from your hard earned money that you could grow yourself. That is stupid. Going to work every single day, nine till five, part time, full time, doesn't matter. Going to work every day or going to work in general to make some rich boss, manager, CEO, someone at the top even richer than you will ever be that's stupid. Doing it for a minimum wage set by somebody who is on a wage far, far more superior than you, that's stupid. Voting for a system that is obviously designed to favour the rich and, and break the poor and to make more people poor. Supporting that, voting for it, being a part of it, paying taxes to it, that's stupid. Naively accepting that there is a small portion of the country that are on million, million pound contracts and live lives of luxury and accepting that while they talk down to you and tell you to buckle up your belt and to tighten your belt and to budget properly and to, uh, and to basically uh, accept the fact that it's your fault that the country is in debt. Just accepting that and allowing these people to continue, that is stupid. Having people preach to you about climate change and about the environment issues while they're driving around on private jets and they're still driving around in their flashy cars while they are still paying for things that you pay for through taxes, so essentially you're paying for their life of luxury, allowing that to happen and to continue listening to them as they preach this stuff, that is stupid. 
giving people like Boris Johnson, Liz Truss, giving them control and power over things like the NHS, the education system, our food, our imports, our exports, all of the things that our country needs to obviously keep functioning, having these people in control, that is stupid. Living miles away from my friends, living away from the people that I gel with the most, living, living miles and miles apart from the people that I consider practically family. When we can live together, in one place, living separately, is stupid. People buying watches, people buying jewellery, people buying cars, people buying flat screen TVs, people pay, pay, paying to, to buy games consoles and to get the latest trainers and keep up with the latest fashions. That's stupid. When land, dirt, earth, they are the real things of wealth. People going to the supermarket to buy eggs when chickens do exactly the same for free. Moaning day in, day out, every single day that your life isn't as good as it could be because somebody else or something else is to blame without actually doing anything about it yourself. That's stupid. Living in ignorance and very naively by stating, I love my life and my life is brilliant and I have no issues in my life whatsoever, when you know full well that that is a lie and your life isn't as great as you want other people to think. That is stupid. Living in an existence with no passion, ambition, drive, goals or an ultimate dream that you were chasing. Living in stagnation, not going anywhere, not trying to achieve anything, never striving for greatness. Stupid. People declaring war on other people thinking that it actually makes a difference and whoever wins is going to be in some way far more superior than they were before or better off than they were before when in reality you've just turned one nation into murderers and they've realistically just murdered an entire population of another country and they're all just people and going along with it supporting it and again giving control of these things to people like Tony Blair and even now Liz Truss you know these people are in charge of the big red button that is stupid. Long list of stupid things that people do every single day in the United Kingdom and they worry about what their future is going to be like and they and they <laughs> they like to push the blame towards other people wherever they can. And in my experience, these people would agree that micronationalism is stupid and yet still continue living their miserable little lives and continue to continuing to comply to a system that really doesn't care about you. Is micronationalism stupid? Because it's not stupid to care for the people. It's not stupid to look out for one another. It's not stupid to share and to, and to educate and to spend time with and to make memories with and to just, in general, just spend, spend time and hang out with people that you have their company you enjoy. That's not stupid. Providing your own resources that you need to survive, like water and food, not stupid. Providing a life for my children where they will have the skills necessary to provide their own food. They will have their own electricity self-sufficiently and they will be able to be able to continue the Waywoodian legacy in the future because of what we've established. That gives them something in the future. That gives them something physical. It gives them physical soil that they can farm. It gives them water that is clean. These things are not stupid. Making friends all across the world. Making friends all across the world, you know, from Stamaria to Lithuania, but also those across seas that are watching us and supporting us from other countries that may not be a part of mic a micronation or even in the micronational world at all. They're just main they're just mainlanders who support us and they and they just watch the videos and they don't have to be a part of the micronation to support that. These people become our friends, these people become our fans, these people become those on the outside that are just wishing us well and, and hoping we succeed. And because of those relationships that are being formed, we are making long lasting ties with people all across the world. And when they or if they join Wayward, we, we then have more roots in different countries um, and then we can share more knowledge, produce um, and share memories with each other. Not, not stupid, not, not really. Supporting or believing that the British pound is going to be as stable as it is for the, for the foreseeable future. Believing that the pound, which is backed by absolutely nothing, 
is going to be a a continued uh, a continued um, source of uh, monetary or, or will continue to be a monetary system in the future. That is stupid. Not investing in silver, gold, and things that actually have real wealth and are precious metals and things like this that continue to hold their value. Stupid. Waving a flag. Been done for thousands, thousands, and thousands of years throughout human history. We've flown, we've flown flags. Don't necessarily think it's stupid. Just think it's just a nice way for people to represent their group or their area or to just make themselves known. Don't think flags are stupid. Creating a trade network across the United Kingdom between other micronations like Lathua and Stamaria, but also Waywoodian citizens where we are all trading or have the ability to trade produce that we have. Therefore, our reliance on supermarkets and produce that is made in the United Kingdom that, you know, if you haven't noticed, isn't exactly the stable at the best of times. Being able to trade our own food and resources amongst each other um, and, and other micronations. Not stupid. In fact, I'd like to know what what level of stupidity are you talking at here? Micronations are stupid. In what example? In which way? Wayward has got new territory, which is larger than the current territory that we have. Wayward has territory all over the United Kingdom and in Europe, which all provide or produce a produce of some description that we can all trade and swap with and therefore able to grow different things in different areas depending on where they grow best and still be able to enjoy those in other places of say the UK especially if we're transporting citrus fruits from the south of France all the way up to the northern of Scotland where they can't grow that sort of thing we are be we are able to do that as a micronation don't think that's stupid. I think it's incredibly smart. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of structure. It takes a lot of management. You couldn't do it if you were stupid. And it wouldn't work if it was a stupid idea. And we can trade in silver because silver has a value. So even if the British pound isn't meeting our needs or no longer serves its purpose, we still have a way of trading and bartering and paying for goods, even in the UK, because as I say, Silver holds its wealth, so it's worth the same in the real world as our stupid micronational world. You're right, there are a lot of stupid micronations out there, but that does not mean that micronationalism is stupid. I think it's a very good idea, especially if you have been paying attention to what is going on in the real world. If you're not prepared, if you're not, not getting ready to be able to, uh, to support yourself if it falls then you are going to be in a bit of trouble. Not only that, if it doesn't fall, you're still going to continue going along with that system, paying for water when it falls free from the sky and paying for vegetables that you could grow that come free out the ground. That's stupid. As a micronation, we have brought our community together. We have achieved great things by creating a new space elsewhere, or at least in the processes now of beginning to create a whole new space elsewhere. That is our territory, our land, and we will move our community on there over the next five years, build our own village with our own market, with our own resources and produce and our own livestock. We will, we will have our own food, our, our own water supply, our own electrical supply. We will basically be self-sufficient and providing for ourselves, which means any money that we do make in the future through this farm, through this business is ours. There's no land rent. There's no bills to pay. There's no, there's no outgoings, so to speak of. It's mostly income. That's not stupid. As a micronation, we have a farm, we have a working business, and we have a home for me and my family and our closest friends. We get to now spend, if we so choose, the rest of our lives together as a group of friends, working our own business, making our own money that won't necessarily have to go anywhere so we can invest more into silver and into the land itself while we farm it for the produce that we want to continue doing what we're doing in a self-reliant, independent way. Because obviously and evidently people like Boris Johnson and Liz Truss aren't the sharpest knives in the drawer.
And if you think they're smarter than you and capable of that job, that's fine. That's nothing to that's nothing to be ashamed of. If you honestly believe Liz Truss is smarter than you and she is capable of that job, that's fine. But she's definitely not smarter than me. She's definitely not smarter than my Waywardians. And I honestly put my faith in them 100% more so than I put my faith into the government of the United Kingdom or indeed the royal family of the United Kingdom, especially now that we have a new parliament and a new monarchy in the united kingdom yeah right now the stupid thing is is being a part of that and not creating your own community or backup plan that is stupidity as i say i'm not going to go on on a defensive i'm not going to give it too much time or effort to fight back it's just i wanted to highlight a lot of what we do here is to become self in self-sufficient and independent for us here as a group to us, that's not stupid. To many people out there, it's not stupid. And that comment itself, just in general, just putting it there, the fact it's there, the audacity of just coming on here, a micronational channel, on a micronational video, to say that in itself, that is stupid. I'm going to leave it there, but please feel free to leave any comments you want. And if they tickle me, if I have a decent enough reply, if I can put in the effort to actually do it, then I may do a video reply um, to you if you leave a comment. So leave a comment. If not, just check out the links below because everything down there is Waywardian. And I'm going to catch you in a video next time when we talk more about Wayward as we just strive for greatness.